Hey guys, so we are going to open free packs from Walmart and free packs from Target and see which one does better. I, I bought these packs because I felt like I wanted to do Innistrad for Halloween. So it is almost Halloween season and I'm very excited. I got my pet's Halloween costumes. The cat I recently adopted, he's always so upset. So I got him like a witch's hat and then the costume. So he's like a witch, although he is a male cat, but I don't think cats really care about that. And then my dog, he got the Chewbacca costume, which is very popular at Petco. I felt like it was kind of funny, so I decided to go with that. But anyway, um, I bought three packs from Walmart. They were $11 a pack. So a total of $33 with shipping. If you order over $25 in Walmart, you get free shipping. So that was my plan. And then I bought three packs from Target, which was actually a lot cheaper. It was $8.50. I continue to buy packs because why not? These packs are like $10 a pack. They're just super expensive. And I wanted to get them now because of it being Halloween. So the first pack we're gonna open will be from Walmart. So wish me luck. Again, these are loose packs and I have no, I understand that they are loose packs. I'll put it that way. So hopefully we get something good from our $11 pack. I normally wouldn't buy these packs for this price point, but it's Halloween and I wanted to do a comparison video of Walmart. This is how I used to open packs. So then you can keep the wrapper. Oh, okay. That was a common. All right, let's see what we got. Spiders, devils, very Halloween-esque. Bitten, twist, exorcism, skeleton. Uh, we are looking for a common delver. Uh, delver being the most expensive common, I believe. Desperate ravings. Full Moon Rise, Rally the Peasants, Ah, Mentor of the Meek, I believe this was reprinted in the Commander deck, a Spirit Token, a Flip Token, and a Villagers of Estewald. So was it really worth the $11 or the $10.50? Probably not. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that these packs are also not going to really be worth it. So if you want to keep the booster pack, like in good condition, and that's what you're worried about, you can go ahead and open this way. Basically, you're, you're hoping for Lily or Bust. If you grab Liliana, you will be okay. If you do not grab Liliana or Snap, you will not be okay. The value is really not here in this set. Terror, Heroism, Vampire. I think for Halloween and like special events, they should just reprint O booster packs. That would be really good. Uh, skeletons, Grasp, Goliath, the Peasants again, a door, Rooftop Storm. So, and oh, Delver of Secrets. I forgot Delver of Secrets was a common. My cat is knocking down the tripod. Okay, there he goes. So hopefully uh, he won't knock down the tripod. So we spent X amount of dollars to receive zero dollars of value from Walmart. If you guys remember, I bought some Eternal Masters. No, um, I did buy some Eternal Masters, but I bought some Modern Masters, 25, and it ended very poorly. From Walmart, at least. Target, I don't know if it's the same people, but I feel like, not that I feel like, I got a JST Mind Sculptor from one pack. Oh, so we got a foil, but it doesn't look very good. I even com I completely forgot there were foils in the set. I was uh, so into the... My pets are just going wild now from this all the spookiness. Okay, so let's see what we got. Gruesome deformity. 
I mean, look at this. It's a very scary set. Monsters and zombies bumping the night. I remember bumping the night used to be a good card and people wanted to play it. I don't know why people don't play that right now. Bumping the night. Griffin. This could be probably the worst utility of money I've ever spent my money on, but we'll see. All it takes is one lily. One lily. Oh, Heartless Summoning. Uh, this used to be one of the hottest speculations. It had a really good combo with the mirror dude. And let's see what we got. We got a foil common flip. So in total, we spent about $30 with shipping. And we got $4 a card. How much is Heartless Summoning? That's the only card that might be of some value. So not the best. Uh, I can tell you that Walmart, Walmart did not do good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do Charge. Yeah, my pets are just going berserk right now. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but it's definitely very loud. And I should probably put them in the cages before. I don't like putting my pets in cages, but it... Wow, so this has been pretty bad in terms of flip cards, at least. So, okay. This is from Target. Uh, Target was about $8 a pack, so $24. I think I added like a Funko figure to make sure that I got the free shipping. I think free shipping at Target is $25, or no, $30. One of them is, I know Walmart is $25, so Target must be about $30 for free shipping. Snakes. Think twice. Devils for Halloween. All it takes is one lily, and I would have recouped my money, and then I would be, in gambling terms, you're free rolling, because you're playing on house money. But it looks pretty bad. And... Is it black? Oh, Sofer Falls. This is a $10 card, so we broke even. It has gone up in price recently. What is Tactics? What is this? It has a code. Play now for free. Oh, you get a Sarah Avenger. Did each of these have it? Hold on a second. Let me go back and look. Because I don't remember, what is Tactics? Is that like the online version? Nope, this one didn't have it. This one didn't have it. They're just bad advertisements. Huh. That is very strange. This is the only booster pack that has a code in it. I don't know what the code is for, but you get a free Sarah Avenger. So, we dodged a bullet there. We picked up a $10 card. So, <laughs> Target has been very good for me. If you saw my last video, we pulled a JSD Mind Scope there from one target pack. Well, actually, it was three target packs. I don't even remember what was in the other packs because, to be quite honest, it doesn't matter. But so for falls, I mean, that is uh, that's a good one. Oh, jeez, like oh, this is the right way. Never mind. I kept opening it the wrong way. So already, Target has outperformed Walmart by a large margin, and that's what I'm figuring out. I think the Walmart sellers, they might be individual sellers, are just greedier, right? They, they, they might just be greedier because I already made back the $10 and the packs are cheaper. Oh, I totally forgot about these curses. Good times. Good times. Rats. Is, I hope this tripod is not bent in some way or not slanted in some way. Uh, because of my cat, but now that I realize that, because my cat did ram right into it for no reason, then other than he is a cat. Ooh, dearly departed. That is a miss. And reckless waif. Woof? No, waif. <laughs> this is a waif. All right, so we got host in that pack too. Oh my gosh. It is host town, guys. All right. But all it takes is one lily. All it takes is one princess lily, and we're good for the whole, whole $60 or whatever it was. Or even one snap, I think, will be good. 
Yeah, I think we need a snap or a really good foil card. But like here, I mean, yeah, Sofa Falls is a $10, $12 card retail. And we can only really go off retail because, I mean, you're never going to get buy list. Buy list on this stuff is just so hard to get. Well, I forget these drakes. Harvest Pie was a really good card for limited. All right. I remember making a deck around the captains, but there weren't enough he wins. All right. Let's see. Oh, what the blank? Okay, so that was calm. Tree of Perdition or Redemption. All right. I mean, it is a mythic. We got hosed pretty badly. And we got another common. Hmm. Hmm. So, instead of a Liliana, we got a Tree of Redemption, which I believe is reprinted in one of the Master Sets. So luckily, well actually, I was going to say luckily we didn't pay $10 to get one of these, but that's exactly what happened. So at Walmart, we got um, $4 of value. Here, I think we got $12 of value, so... Target wins this round, but my gosh, it's pretty bad. Well, let's keep opening because maybe our luck changes a little bit. Anyway, bye guys. So last round we did Walmart versus Target. Now we're going to do Walmart versus Amazon. Uh, if you wanted to know what who won last round, it was Target by a Sofa Falls. So let me make a note. Um, actually, I don't have a pencil, so I need to make a note because I got to figure out how much I paid for it. Give me one second. So Walmart, I was paying this particular batch, I paid $9. Amazon, I paid 8 So Amazon is on the right. Amazon has the Garouk on top. So let's see what Walmart does. Uh, I am down quite a bit. So in terms of money, I'm down 50 bucks. Art, right. more, no less, $40. So, but all it takes is one Lily, uh, which this is not, but it is uncommon. This is the first flip uncommon I've seen so far. So that's a good sign. So these packs come from Walmart. I normally would never do this, so never buy loose packs, but it is Halloween, and a box is like $400, so I didn't want to buy a box. Plus, I wanted to actually buy from Walmart, Amazon, see. I got very lucky from Target, and Target actually turned out to be okay. Not great. I mean, I paid $24 for $12. I mean, yeah, actually, that's not bad. 50% is not bad for an old set. Okay, and Curse of Death's Hold. Not the best start, and Screeching Bat. Walmart has been uh, not the greatest so far. Okay, opening packs this way is not going to work. Oh, here we go. I was going to keep the packs, but then I realized, why would I keep these packs? I've opened so many of them already, and these are not particularly old packs that I'm really worried about conditioning. All right, let's hope for a one good card. Now, again, the, they are loose packs. Probability of them being searched is incredibly high, given the fact there is $100 card in the set. Lily, and then there's like a $50 card, Snap. So it's very easy to box map these. Like just, if you buy loose packs, you have to assume that they are box mapped. Okay. Rune Chanter's Pike, another. Yeah, we got a land this time too, okay. But we didn't get a flip card. Hmm. We didn't get the checklist card. Oh, and the last pack. So, so far, we spent $60 on Walmart. And 
we received okay pretty much don't buy cards from Walmart the only one good card I got from a Walmart was the foil coalition relic and that's because I don't think they can search foils or it's much more difficult bonds of faith something something naturalized beautiful naturalized uh, I think I you can also weigh packs and I did get one foil, but okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's a black card. Reaper of the Abyss. Okay. That is a mythic. Uh, I don't believe this is worth very much money. I don't actually remember it uh, ever seeing play. 6-6 six, six, Morbid at the beginning of its end step. If a creature died this turn, destroy target non-demon creature. Um, this battle cards and ED8s, I guess. That seems kind of bad. So now we have the Amazon packs. This is the first time, or maybe I've done Amazon before. I can't remember. I bought a bunch of modern master packs. So hopefully Amazon gives me something better. I've been hosed. Let me put the Walmart packs together and then I'll do a recap at the end of the other videos. So I'm out of Walmart packs. The six Walmart packs are really bad. The other Walmart packs I've opened off camera were also very bad. Target packs have been the best. Uh, I don't remember Amazon packs to be honest. I don't even know if I opened any. But uh, these are Amazon packs. Hopefully we do well. Think twice. Ranger's Guile. Abby Griffin. Sentry. Oh, this is a very scary card for Halloween. Spiders. Cannibals. And the most scary part is it's a red card. I don't remember any good red. Vexing Devil? No, that's an Averson Restored, right? Um, Devil's Play. All right. And a foil uncommon. So, at least in Amazon, it's possible to get foils. I don't know. I have like a sneaking suspicion that all of these packs are searched. Just given how easy it is to search these packs. Like, Innistrad is incredibly easy to search. And when you sell like three packs at a time, it's really hard to determine. Oh, this is a beautiful card. Moon Heron. Oh, Pilgrim. Bump in the night. Saw some play. I tried to play it with Lightning Bolts and Slay of the Wicked. I think this was a promo card as well. Let's see what color it is. Red, it is a 2-2 and it is an intro deck rare. And yeah, so Amazon has hosed us as well. We have one pack left from Amazon. Uh, overall, I would say that it has not been great. Okay, so it's another common. That does not inspire hope. <laughs> oh my gosh, this could be the biggest waste of money I've ever. Um, O packs, you know, I give props to these channels that keep o opening O packs. Uh, it's really hard because you just see the value dissolve. Grasp of Phantoms, Spectre Rider. It's a green card. I don't know any. No, it's not a green card. It is a Geist of Saint Traff. Okay. Um. Surprisingly, I don't know, like it depends. I guess it depends on when you open the box because this card used to be actually very valuable, but then they reprinted in a dual deck. They did get reprinted in something else. I just remember after it got reprinted in the dual deck, the price just collapsed. But you can't say we didn't get lots of mythics because we have gotten mythics. But again, like I said, this set is incredibly easy to box map. Um, it is very difficult to get back value from this set. 
uh, the Sofa Falls I know is the only pack I open that had value. So from Walmart we got um, Abyss, Rune Channel's Pike, Curse of the Death Hold, a Foil, Mentor of the Meek, Heartless Summoning, Rooftop, and one Delver, only one Delver. Here we got a Geist, from Amazon we got a Geist, a Marauder, a Foil Uncommon, and a Devil's Play. So, and then when you talk about the Target, Target has been doing me very solid. Target, I think it feels more like an actual pack opening um, than, and my cat is misbehaving again. Uh, so this is so far we got Target. Target is the only real hope. I, I guess Target and Amazon are about the same because you got guys and you have Sofa Falls in one of them. I don't know. It's pretty depressing. We have six more packs to go. We have the Amazon versus Target. Uh, Target is... No, I did it wrong. It's Target versus Amazon. You might ask, why does the title matter? Because the packs are in certain order. So far, I've opened 12 packs and I've gotten maybe $30 of value. Oh my gosh. I'm getting host. I'm getting host. Uh, but it, I'm having a good time. And honestly, I'm remembering some of this stuff. And it's a, it's a great set. I drafted it recently. And it was a lot different than when you're just opening packs. Because when you draft, at least the cards have some type of value to them, right? Anyway, bye guys. Hey guys, today we are going to do Target versus Amazon. This is from Target, this is from Amazon, and we're going to open three more packs. Um, in case you wanted to know, Walmart did very poorly. This is Target, yes. Walmart did incredibly poorly, and we got hosed. I have never been hosed so badly other than buying loose Walmart packs. So I watched the uh, packs from other channels, like the mystery boxes. I don't, they don't seem set up in my opinion, but these older packs, because maybe it's not Walmart selling them, to be honest, seem really, really bad. All right, and Innistrad was a very easy set to box map. That being said, out of 12 packs, I've gotten my share of Mythics. I got three Mythics in 12 packs. But again, the Mythics are not the problem because there's a lot of very low value Mythics in the set. The problem is you can, there's only one Mythic worth any money, which is obviously Lily. This is Target. So spiders and scary stuff and Halloween. Oh man. Lots of interesting stuff. And oh, that is an insect, a weevil, curiosity, rally the peasants. My gosh, rally the peasants every time. Ooh, Woodland Cemetery. That is a good hit. That is five, six dollars maybe? So Tarze, actually, we got two lands from Target, including the most expensive one, Sofer Falls. Um, so that's probably the best case scenario. And we got what foil. Oh, how awesome would it be if it was like a foil lily? I saw the black in the background. I was like, I was like Target. So Target was the place I pulled the uh, JST Mind Sculptor. And it looks like it's about reasonable. I mean, I also pulled a tree of perdition, but what can you do? Sometimes it happens. Target was not bad. Target, I'm, I'm very happy you get two of those lands. So it seems about right. The other, Walmart seems kind of off. I've pulled a ton of packs from Walmart and it just really seems off in my opinion. Fear of the Bidden, Makeshift uh, Murderer, Mauler. I might have to cut this video short and then splice. I think I'm just going to make a very long video and I know you guys like those because I like them too but I'm going to have to move via fast and then put all my splices together. I should have just made one big video. Oh jeez, evil twin. And a foil spider, yes. Yes, uh, of course. Oh and then a grizzle something something. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Although we have four packs left, but in terms of what you guys see, it'll just probably be one giant video. Bye guys. All right, let's let the uh, hose fest continue. Uh, this is from Target. Uh, Target, I got two of the lands, which is very good, but that is uh, pretty much it. I really have to rely on the last three packs from Amazon. Otherwise, I would have spent uh, about $180 and received no value or very low value. I did get free mythics and that is equivalent to like a box of mythics, right? Two to four. But like I said, these things are incredibly easy to box map. I was going to make three different videos because I thought it would be really exciting. Shirts for the Liliana. But now I realize it's Hose Town will be the title of the video. So I'm just going to probably combine them all in one video. For Halloween. Uh, clutches, a Viper, a uh, Mulch, Smite, a uh, Zombie Warrior, Blazing Torch, oh, a Homoclius, Discipline of Grizzlebrand, uh, Grizzlebrand being in Avacyn Restored, of course. All right. Let's slow roll it, because that's all we have, right? All we have is the ability to slow roll. Please be black. Isolated Chapel, thank you, Target. Target, you are amazing, and I'm very happy, because, uh, of course, we got a common. All right, let me show you what we got from Target. Uh, Target, I am actually very pleased with. I am not upset. I think Target turned out okay. I mean, it was as good as you could hope. One isolated chapel, one foil spider, one evil twin, one woodland cemetery, one sofa falls, one tree redemption as our mythic, and one dearly departed. So target, mm, 60 bucks, maybe we made back $30, so not bad. All right, last one, Amazon. Uh, the last pack on Amazon was a geist, it gives me hope. Again, all we need is one lily, and we have paid for the hoe box. Or hoe video, I guess. But we are getting hosed. But let me try, try to think about this set. Snap and lily. Yeah, I think what happened was snap and lily were always very valuable, but the lands themselves were not as valuable as they are today because they're, they are reprinted, and now people can play with them again. So if I was someone back in the day, and I was going ahead and pack searching, I wouldn't really care about the land so much, but I would care about Snap and Lily, and that would be it. All right, let's hope that we get something good, more spiders, more... Ooh, this kind of looks like Lantern of Insight, right? The very pricey one. But unfortunately, I don't, do not believe there are any good commons. Oh, this is a good one. Ghostly Quarter is like a dollar. There is a foil. Let's see what the foil color is. Please be black or blue. Black or blue. Ooh, it's a gold foil. Ooh, that can't be good. No. It's evil twin. No, no. It's a... Ah, God. God. It's hard. It was Geist. It looked very similar to Geist. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, God. So we have gotten four mythics, which is a little shocking because four mythics is a lot of mythics. Uh, and we got a foil geist, our evil twin. So I, I can't say that it's bad, but I can't say it's very good. So Amazon, we still need some proof. We still need hopefully two more good cards out of the two more packs otherwise we are hosed we're already hosed but we need a lily guys i need you guys to pray and pray for me to get a lily all right i'll make a deal with you guys if in these two packs i get a lily or a snap i'll give it away i've already given up hope on getting those two now if they're foil i'll give those away too I really doubt I can get another Lily. God, do you know that foil Lily I gave away? I pulled it myself.
at a FNM as a prize pool. Okay, let's low roll it. It's blue. It's blue, guys. I mean, it's blue. It's a blue one one. Ah, jeez, it's the bird. Oh, that was that was not a good slow row. All right, if you want to see how to burn one hundred and eighty dollars, well, look no further than MTG Line. Ah, these pack openings. I don't know how some channels do it because every time you open packs, you get hosed. That's the whole point of opening packs. All right, do we have a foil? We do not have a foil, so let's just get that out the way. There's no foil. Let's see, Fortress Crab. I mean, we need to hit something. We need to hit a Lily pretty badly. Oh, it's looking very, very, oh, that's because I got rid of that one card. I was like, wow, this look. All right. If they say 4-4, four, four, let us slow roll it. It's white. Stony silence. Nevermore. Okay, good. All right, let's compare what happened. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't buy three packs. I didn't buy six packs of each of these. I bought seven. I was hoping that I would be able to keep a pack just, you know, because I wanted to keep one, but it looks like we have to open them. So here's what we got, but we're gonna open one more pack. Uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon. Walmart first. So if you're wondering how much money did we spend, the answer is way too much. I mean, I just, you got, you got to have to hope for that one, Lily. And then I'll give it away in some type of contest. But my gosh, Lily Snap. There is a foil. I think it's green. Oh, it's green. It kind of looked blue. I'm getting like delusional. Endless ranks of the dead. Okay, that did not work out as I expected. And then a... Grave Bramble. Okay. So Walmart was absolute trash because we got nothing of value from any Walmart pack. Inc the only thing of value I got from six Masters 25 Walmart packs was the Foil Coalition Relic. And I have a really, I have a sneaking, what is this one? This one's Target. I have a sneaking suspicion that that was because it's a foil. And every single pack has a foil. Therefore, it's really hard to box map or search a foil because it's just so random all the time. We got a green one, which is a uncommon. That's probably a good sign that they didn't hose me too badly. Oh, please be black or blue. Oh, what the blank is this? All right, Target let me down. The only hope we now have is amazon -y. Amazon, help me, Amazon. Help me, my subscribers, so I can give them away a good card. I spent $210 on garbage. Yes. Yes. There is a foil, but it's an artifact. It is a cellar door. All right. Thank you, Amazon. Oh, no, please do not be a red. Okay. So that's, what's that? That's two. That's free. Okay, guys. It's Lily or Bust. For a hundred, two hundred and ten dollars It's got to be a Lily. Oh, geez. Okay, we got hosed pretty badly. Let's do a recap. $210. Oh, yikes. Yikes, guys. Yikes. All right. From Walmart, we got a Endless Ranks. We got uh, a Del what? only one Delver, huh? That's interesting. One Foil. We got a 
Minotaur to make. We got two foils. We got one Mythic from Seven Packs and a Death's Hold and a Rune Chatter's Pike. All said, the Walmart bats that cost me $70 probably got me $7 if I'm being generous. 10% return on investment. Uh, Target did slightly better, although the last few packs were not great. Because mainly because I got these free lands, I'm going to give them a fake value of $10 a land. And I hopefully made about half my money back. So, yay me. Alright, and lastly, we opened one Geist. Oh, that's a really good, that's a good card. One Foil Rare, which is a good sign, because I don't think they can, uh, they can mess with the Foil Rares. I mean, imagine if that had been Snap, we would be uh, so happy. Uh, one Mythic. Oh, two Mythics, because we had the guys. And multiple foils. So I, I really don't think that Amazon or Target were searched. Walmart, just given the amount of Walmart crap I've opened, seems pretty bad in my opinion. But anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.